and get another one. <laughs> Unless you make conscious effort to sit down and learn. Hello, welcome. My name is Obinako. Welcome, welcome. Today I want to share with you uh, fear. Fear controlling the religious addiction. <laughs> controlling the religious addiction. Just the other day it was 31st night and uh, it was heavy. It was heavy. All over the world. The Africans have been programmed to believe that religion solves everything. Solves everything. So when it's getting to the end of the year, everybody must tell us God told them this. And they insist that we must listen to them. Yet previous years, all that they have said, we're still where we are. <laughs> not much has changed. Because the work is not to be done by anybody but us. We are the ones to change the course. We are the ones to do the work. And so this year, if you are those if you're one of those people who believe, you know, you believe in this magic, this that somebody has just pronounced something, so everything else will change in your life, then that's fine. It's okay. Uh, that is your belief and it's perfect with that but my concern is with the sanity of our country if I could measure the noise at 31st night it, it could break your eardrum because <laughs> we so believe that we are not the ones to do the work it's God to do the work God is not going to clean our gutters for us God is not going to organize our society for us God is not going to organize our finances for us we are the ones if we abuse and misuse the resources that he's giving us then he is not the one responsible we are and no prophecy will change that no prophecy will change that so this year concentrate on the things that you can concentrate to be the magic that you're looking for be the miracles that you are, you are waiting for don't wait for miracles and magic and hope that your life will change when you are not doing anything. You have to do something. And don't let them use fear to control you. Even if you're religious, whether you're Islamic or Christian, there are principles that guide this. And a lot of these things that we see on our continent, they are not changing because we are the ones to change it. You know, we are the ones to change it. So don't let anybody use fear. You say, this body, somebody else will die. This one will not see the end of the year. Somebody else will be removed from position. All those things don't mean anything. The power is in our hands. We are the ones to cause the change. <laughs> if you organize your things well, if you organize the protocols well, you will see the success that you're looking for. But if you sit back and do nothing and sleep, and be I'm slop, sloppy, yeah? And, and do nothing, then nothing will change. We are the ones to do the work. We are the ones to change, to create the change. We are the ones to bring the development. We are the ones to take responsibility. The resource is with us than with anybody else. We are the ones to control the narratives. We are the ones to create the confidence. Don't let anybody else. Because sometimes when you listen to these things, you become deflated and you become so much hopeless as to what the year is to bring to us. The, the gloom and the, the the negatives are so much that if you don't take care you have you will not even plan your life this year but it, it's almost as if that we are not responsible for anything and that <laughs> any, all the bad things are going to happen this year but i can tell you that men the choices and decisions of men will decide where the year will go will decide where our country will end if we make the right choices and the right decisions things will go well for us this year if you make the right decisions and choices things will go right for us if you make the wrong ones then things will be wrong for us so control the fear don't don't live in panic this year don't you know that there is going to be a third world war uh, covid will come again another virus will come there is some illuminati somewhere who are organizing how things are going to be run this year you know the world is coming to an end all kind of things the very people who are telling us the world is even coming to an end are the same people who are building new buildings new temples <laughs> who are still collecting money from the people <laughs> sometimes those things amaze me a lot of the things if the world is coming to an end it's men who are going to make wrong decisions to crush the world 
we are the ones to make the right decisions to make sure that things uh, go as we so desire so your life is the same if things are going to be different look at last year if things were different for you is because you're able to do some things yes of course not everything you you may not be able to control everything because you're not god but the very things that are so much dear and critical and close to you if you make the right decisions even if you didn't cause it the response you'll be able to change it you'll be able to position your response well so that things will work well for you so control the fear the religious addiction is so much widespread in our country it's almost everywhere people are threatening you with <laughs> if you don't change jesus is coming you're going to die the next day it's uh, it's 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 all addiction people are intoxicated you know and we are we are we are following a dangerous path where it's almost as if religion is almost the, the only important thing that we have to commit to all other things are not important and yet look at the economy that we had that's why the economy was was so much if you look at the economy last year at least the, the half of the of last year so many things came crashing on us why because the things that we did proud to that we probably were not so much conscious and we're not arranging things well and the moment they started to place proper decisions things started to change it's not that it's not it's not it's not something that so happened that it was so much out of, outside of their control no there were things that within their control that if they paid attention we would not be where we are the same thing this year if we pay attention and we become so disciplined with our finances become so straight with our decisions and choices and pay attention things will go well for us but if we just leave everything in the hands <laughs> of those who control it then nothing good is going to happen to us so control the fear it's not that you're just going to get accident and die it's not just any any disease can just attack you it's not just your business will just crash it's not just that your finances will go the marriage will just dissolve your children will just go and smoke weed no it's not like that pay attention there are a lot of things that you can correct don't let anybody don't let anybody use religion and superstition to control you and prophecies to control you many of the things are going to be controlled by us even if they happen and we we will not we were not able to control the happening we'll be able to control the responses and how we change the narratives you know so my name is Obeda this year control the fear because if you hear the noise if you hear the things that are happening you'll be afraid you may even end up not doing anything at all uh, this year because people are trying to say that they have power tell us what is going to happen but i'm telling you that your power is resident in you and many of the things you can control many of the things look at COVID. maybe we did not have power to uh, control it happening but even that they happened because men were responsible and how we respond to it is within our power as well is within our power as well so be confident this year be hopeful and and look out for the best of things control the things that you control this year the things that are within your power control them and don't live in fear and panic live in boldness live in courage take risk live the best of your life once you you have life then enjoy it be responsible know that you are responsible for what happens to you and if you are not even responsible you are responsible as to how you respond to whatever happens so my name is robin Dako. i'm saying that control the fear and control the religious addiction <laughs> because they are widespread they are rampant and they are everywhere and they can easily let you forget about you living intentionally and consciously and taking charge of your finance of your life of your family and of your health and of things that happen you know using the principles that god has given us to live the life uh, that you so desire so thank you very much thank you very much